the Nasir Gazdar at the uh, Puo Kaimaki, which is the lava dome, and here we are going to demo the graduation of weathering in the tropical weather of Hawaiian Island. So this is the rock that is also called sometimes blue rock. So blue rock is the one of the uh, component of dikes that have formed this Kaimaki lava dome. So of course uh, this uh, uh, here we see the gradation, but the weathering is you know very rapid. But uh, so here we can see uh, the this uh, this brownish thing that is there to indicate the weathering is happening. Gradually, this will convert into this kind of brownish structure. So more oxidized will convert it to uh, this kind of porous rock. So this porous rock is very beautiful rock though it looks kind of rusted but this will absorb a lot of rain. So when it rains this is a, our aquifer or this is our porosity rock. So this rock uh, looks like a, a lava but this rock is not a, a lava. This is called the honeycomb weathering. So honeycomb weathering of this Puo Kaimaki has produced a you know lava lava rock that has high porosity so if it, it rains then there is a lot of water so all around Kaimaki this porous rock has what we call aquifer or water lenses so in this neighborhood of Kaimaki uh, the city and uh, county water supply uh, board of water su supply pumps out almost 5 million gallon of water daily from this water lens. So this is the beauty of this rock, though this rock is rusted, uh, but it has, you know, as in Hawaiian, we call it pukas. So pukas are the pores, uh, the holes. As it rains, they retain the water. So this water is, you know, we cherish in Hawaiian islands. The city of Honolulu has almost one million people but it has a vast amount of groundwater that is found in the water lenses, aquifer, and many of the beautiful rocks that we have in Hawaiian islands. So uh, if you want to explore more about the Hawaiian uh, volcanoes and the beauty of the rocks, uh, please do uh, you know, subscribe to our channel. We have almost 300 short videos for you to be educated. Now this is the our you know rusted lava rock that has been worked by the organism and we will do the acid test. So here this lava rock uh, has provided the sanctuary uh, for the organism and the, the reef is uh, um, you know formed by the organism and the reef is surrounds a younger island like a fringing reef. So in this island uh, of Oahu, we have patch reefs, we have fringing reef, we have barrier reef. So ultimately, of, of course, all of these will, you know, weather away within seven million years, and they will remain like sand islands or atolls. So again, remember, organisms do build up sedimentary rocks. Uh, on the foundation provided by the lava rock. So again, remember, Hawaiian islands have the most beautiful beaches because our beaches uh, have lagoons and the coral reef, and they are the you know most. So here again, you can see the structure of the of the marine organisms that habitate the reef. And again, remember, this is the calcium carbonate and the calcium carbonate indicates that these are the secondary organisms uh, that have provided this barrier against uh, storm surge, tsunamis, and hurricanes um, from the oceanic uh, atmospheric thing. Okay. So thank you for watching our video. Uh, and aloha, mahalo, domari gato, adios, sayonara.